What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. So we have not done an update on the farm in quite a while and a lot of people has been uh, noticing that we haven't shown Mojo in uh, several of our recent videos and uh, they want to say what happened to Mojo? What happened to Mojo? I think they seen him in the background of some of them but they're like somebody left a message or something or a comment on one of the videos and I guess a lot of people started assuming that Mojo is gone and I wish I could tell you guys what happened to him but I don't have a clue but you guys can see it for yourself look at his chest and his little buddy there so Mojo what happened to you what is wrong with your chest huh so everybody keeps asking in the last several videos that we posted um, you know a lot of the videos we've been doing has been down at the lake we did a couple over at my buddy Dutch's property getting the hunting camp ready and stuff like that and every, even on those videos people's like hey what's up with Mojo can you update us on Mojo well here he is guys he's a little bit camera shy now because he hasn't done this in a while hey look at the camera hey look at the camera uh, I don't want to look at the camera dad it makes me nervous hey Mojo Look, what do you think? Look at yourself. You can see yourself with the screen. Oh, I just, I feel like I put on 20 pounds on this camera. Mojo. Mojo, it's okay, buddy. We all feel that way. You know it? We all feel that way. So guys, I don't know what happened to Mojo, but look at his chest. He has got into a fire pit or something. He is like dark gray almost blackish looking i don't know what it is it looks like charcoal what is it boy huh what is it boy you want me to scratch your belly but no just a little update mojo's perfectly fine he's uh here on the farm and actually just here just a minute ago right before i came outside he was playing it up because we just had a cold front start rolling through um, it's like 70 degrees right now we're supposed to get down into the low 40s tonight um, you guys can probably see the wind has switched. It's blowing pretty good out of the north. And uh, you guys know my big man here. He loves when the cold weather comes in. He's oh yeah, you're talking my, you're talking my, uh, my kind of weather now, Dad. What do you think, huh? You like being on video? Yeah, you're smiling now, aren't you, buddy? Everybody's been wondering where you've been. You wanna shake? Here, shake. Good boy. But yeah, right before I came outside and started video, and I was trying to sneak over here and record him and Smeagol, he uh, he kept bothering Smeagol. Smeagol was trying to take a nap, and uh, Mr. Mojo would not leave him alone. He finally got him to go play, and they were over here laying down whenever I found him. Smeagol, what do you got? Hey, what do you got, buddy? What is this? What is this? I don't know what this is. Here. You guys are silly, you know that? Both of you. Both of you are silly. You ready to go eat? Huh? You want me to feed you? You wanna go eat? Let's go get your food. Alright, so we're gonna do a little farm update video. We have not done a video on the farm in probably a couple weeks. Um, so I got something going on I'm gonna show you. You can see we got three ducks, one in the pen. We gotta stay tuned for that. That'll be, that'll be another video. So stay tuned for that. Mo, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get your food. Smeagol, you wanna go with me? Everybody can, uh, everybody sees me now. Everybody's yelling at me. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. And for those of you that have been concerned about Mojo, thank you so much. I know you guys care a lot about our animals just like we do. And here comes all the chickens, the ducks. Everybody, Mojo's sitting there waiting on me. So a little update. Um, I just went and got this feed bin filled up just a couple days ago. This is a uh, pretty good update. So that's always good when you see that. The chickens and the goats are happy. They know they're going to be fed well. Uh, this feed bin holds about 6,000 pounds of feed, three tons. And it will last approximately about three months. So... It'll last us until like December, and then we'll be filling it up again. And uh, yeah, so anyways, look at this. I got something else to update you guys. It's been forever since I've done an update on the farm. 
You guys see all these feathers? Those are turkey feathers. I'll give you one guess what happened. Don't tell them, Smigo. Don't ruin it. Hey, don't ruin it, okay? You gonna go to your bucket and get a drink of your fresh uh, rainwater? Show them how you drink out of the bucket. Got him trained. Good boy. He loves the fresh rainwater. We just got about two inches of rain yesterday, and uh, we really needed it. It was starting to get dusty. That good stuff? Okay, girls, I hear you. All right, let's grab some food, and uh, we'll meet you at the Pico Pen. All right, let's fill your bucket up, girls. They said they love hearing the sound of a full feed bin. Well, you got some goofy looking hair today. Did you have a rough night or what? <laughs> hey, you need to slick your hair down, buddy. Alright, ducks. Lead the way, ducks. Single file. That's not single file. Boy, Mo, it is, uh, it's getting windy. Look at this. Crazy. Blowing that nice cold air in you've been waiting for, huh, buddy? Oh, I really like the cold, but man, that food looks good. You got a nice fresh egg in there for me. I sure do. Right out of the refrigerator. You ready to go eat? Come on. You want to show them how you play? You want to show them how you get excited? Come on. Let's go. It's uh, that's like medium and excited. He's not crazy excited. He said it ain't quite cold enough just yet, but soon. He said, just follow me, Dad. I'll show you where to go. Hey, goats. Hey. Hey, what you know? What you know, huh? Yoshi? <laughs> All right, little update on Betty's chick. Look at this, guys. Betty's chick is right at the same size as Betty. Just barely smaller. I mean, barely. Is that not crazy? And then these girls got a tiff going on. A little three-way argument. Really, girls? Here, you're going to pester me until you get your way, aren't you, Yoshi? There you go. Look at this fight. Huh? Look who snuck up behind me. Well, you know, sis. I was gonna. I was about to scare you. You were? Yeah. You can't scare me, you know that? Uh -uh. I could sense you behind me. <laughs> it's windy. What is here. on your mouth? He's, he's, uh, he's got like spit all over his mouth because he's saliva salivating or whatever it's called. What's it called? Uh. Salivating? I don't know. Something like that because he. See me walk up here with this egg. Oh. He loves his scratches too, don't he? Yeah. It's windy, ain't it, sis? Mm hmm. And it's, it's super windy. It's starting to get a little cool. Yeah. Right, chicken, come on. Nice, <laughs> right, people, hold on. Ooh, look at this feather. Yep. Okay, so I'm not going to hold you guys out too long. You guys, uh, I told you to guess what those feathers was from over by the fire pit by the shop when we were getting the feed. Well, as you can see, we got the uh, turkeys in here now. I went ahead and caught them the other day, and I trimmed their wings because they will not stay off of our vehicles. Um, all the vehicles that's not parked in the uh, shop or the garage, turkeys make a mess of them they get on them and they they uh, go to the bathroom on top of the cars and they scratch them all right mojo's turn come on brother come on brother mojo he's like oh i want that egg it sounds so good <laughs> but right here hey. look this is straight from a chicken that you help protect do you know that let me see your tail if you're happy. He said, yep, that means yes. Good boy. All right, here you go. Let's scoot over a little bit. He wants that. You want to help me crack it? Huh? 
I can't crack that thing, Dad. Here, look at there. Here, I won't leave the shell in there for you. Okay, you can get out of my face now. I'm trying to eat. No, yo yo, it's Mojo's food. Yo yo. Go eat your food. Here, here's an egg. Eat that. Who wants an egg? Eggshell. I know you want it, Yoshi. Miggles eat in the feed. I know, he always does. He's goofy. But anyways, guys, uh, everything's going good. Like I said, the feathers you seen me just show a while ago are from these two. I went ahead and trimmed their wings. Um, it does not hurt them one bit. Uh, what it does is it keeps them from flying over the fence and getting in the yard and especially getting on our vehicles. So, what are you doing? Picking up feathers? I just found this destroyed one. Yeah, Smeagol probably chewed on it. But anyways, um, I got one more thing to show you if I can find her. You guys remember the little banny? We had a, uh, geese are chasing each other. We had a little banny chicken and uh, she hatched out the one single egg. And it's been a while since I made a video here on the farm that I can remember. And I can't remember exactly what all I sh showed you guys. But she usually hangs out in the barn with this one baby. So let's go see if we can find her. This is the one, the last time I videoed her, she flogged me. If you guys remember that, she tried to attack me as soon as I walked in the barn. She is very protective. Oh, and I just got some uh, new mineral for the goats. When I filled that feed bin up, um, luckily the feed store had this in stock. This is hard to find. This is a uh, called a meat maker. And the goats absolutely love it and they do really well on it. So where are you at, chicken? I don't know if she's in here. She might actually be in the woods. Yeah, she's not in here today, I don't think. Nope. Well, I was gonna show you the baby, but I don't see her. I can see the goats have been going to town on this mineral. I just filled this up like two days ago. They love it. Where is that little chicken? I can hear her, but I don't see her. Chicken! I don't know where she's at. Maybe I'm hearing things. Nope. Nowhere to be found. Okay, well stay tuned for that. Next video, I'll try to update you guys then. And uh, it's always nice when it rains a couple inches because it usually tops off the waters for us. They're good to go. And uh, take a look. The pastures are green for now. Uh, we still got a lot of green leaves on the trees, but that's gonna be gone before you know it. Uh, I don't think we're quite going to get a frost tonight, but it's gonna be uh, into the low 40s, they're saying. And uh, I'm ready. I absolutely love fall time. I love when the weather starts turning cold. And it's deer season. So start hunting deer and putting some of that meat in the freezer. It's just uh, my all time favorite season. So Mojo wiped his food out. Look, Dad. What are you doing? Playing with singles? He's playing with a feather. He's a typical cat, isn't he? Yep. Smeagol, you're goofy. Well, go. He was playing with some rubber thing that was on the concrete over there by the house. He says, "Okay, I'm not. You're not gonna trick me no more. I know it's not anything." So we'll go. Whenever Rachel went out to get in the jeep to go pick up Kaya from school, Mr. Smeagol had a mouse on the front patio, and he was just playing with it. And uh, whenever she got back. She couldn't find it and he never hardly ever eats the whole thing he always like leaves traces of a tail or like a head or something like that this time there's nothing so we think he just let it go he's kind of a silly cat right yep. he said i'm not gonna eat this little mouse i feel generous today i'm gonna eat goat food instead <laughs> yep yep i love eating goat food don't you smeagol look at this his cat food bowl's full in the shed, but he'd rather eat 
goat food and I just noticed something. Well ago when I told you guys I came out, look at his ears. Mojo was sitting there licking on him like crazy. His head and his ears are soaking wet. Mojo was just giving him a bath, I guess. <laughs> Is that not silly? That's so silly. All right. I'm going to go feed Corey and Liesky. Yep. How'd school go today? Good. Everybody's been asking where you and Caleb have been on videos and mom. We've uh, been at school. Been at school a and, lot, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Mr. Mojo's over there rolling in the grass. Look at that. Mojo, where are you getting all this black stuff on you? The ash or whatever it is. We don't have a burn pile anywhere that I know of that you're getting in. Oh, I'm just making a mess of myself, trying to get dirty. You know me. <laughs> Here I come, Dad. You want out? Here, let's show everybody how you run. Ready? One, two, get set, ready, go. Go, 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 go. He said it ain't quite cold enough to get too excited just yet. All right, so I really need to try to get these other three ducks in this turkey pen over here. I call it the turkey pen. It's just a chicken tractor. I don't know why I call it the turkey pen. But we'll see if we can't um, trick them. I don't know if they'll come over here or not. There's Mr. Mojo. You guys can see how happy he is from this weather. It's nice and cool. It's not too hot. So he likes to get out and about. He said, oh, I need some water in this bucket. You got water all around the house. You don't need ducks water. All right, we're not gonna mess with the ducks right now. I gotta go feed Cora and Niski real quick. Yep. All right, tell everybody bye. Tell them to. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Uh, I'm perfectly fine. I'm just gonna be a little bit dirtier next time you see me. Yeah, you're pretty dirty, buddy. <laughs> you guys. Okay, me and Kyle was gonna try to get them in there, and they decided. Do not go in there and one got out, so that didn't work too well. All right, here we go, feed Cora and Lisky. Come on, let's go. Mr. Lisky, I see you over there behind the gate. With Cora patiently waiting. And here comes the dumb goats that want to try to steal the food. We're not going to let them. All right, let's see if we can get these eggs to bounce up there. Okay. Let's hope the wind don't blow the Girls, you already ate. Get out of here. This is dog food. Here, Miss Cora. You get the first one. Ladies first. Please keep. Don't let the goats get your food, buddy. Hey, I'm trying to do a video. I don't need everybody trying to eat the dog food. Really? Really, Bo? You know better than that. It's a good way to get your nose a bit. Okay, so uh, trying to let Cora and Liesky eat in peace without the goats bothering them, like usual. It's never ending. It's pretty much to be expected with goats. Every time we get a goat that likes to eat dog food, we usually try to get rid of them because that is a very bad habit. It doesn't hurt the goats. It's just sometimes it just bothers the dogs, which our dogs usually defend their self and their food from the goats. You know, they growl at the goats when they get close and snap at them and stuff. But if I'm out here standing here, sometimes the dogs won't do that to the goats because they don't want me to get on to them, which I never do. I actually encourage the dogs to kind of defend their food because they need that. That's, that's their food. These guys, they can eat grass because we're still not feeding them right now. I mean, look at all this lush grass. They got lots of Bermuda. They got clover everywhere. They don't need the extra food just yet. It's not quite cold enough yet. So anyways, so that's why I'm staying out here kind of guarding the dog's food. And if I walk off, the dogs will uh, defend themselves. 
the course and the goats will finally just quit trying because they don't want to get bit by the dogs and uh anyways that's one thing uh you know people that don't raise animals or raise goats in this circumstance think it's just oh i'll go get a goat and put it in a pen well then you gotta worry about coyotes so oh i'm gonna get a dog well then you put a dog in there the goats eat the dog food there's always something going on on the farm not everything always goes as planned or works out right but now i got the sun coming out with the north wind it actually feels really good so you can see these goats they're trying to sneak a little bit closer and closer Ooh, we're gonna sneak a bite look at us then you got the chickens anytime the dogs drop a piece or two the chickens will try to grab it they're kind of brave look at that Bo, leave him alone, bud. So another update. I think I already told you guys, but I got the tractor going. Been brush hogging a little bit with it. Um, it's working good again. Didn't overheat. Uh, I got the steering fixed on it, the steering cylinder. Remember, I got that rebuilt, got it put in. Everything's going good again with it. There's Mr. Smeagol, the deputy. At least he said, oh, I'm just going to lay right here where you can't get my food. Go eat your grass. Get out of here. You're a goat, not a dog. Oh, goats, I swear. One day, don't be surprised if we make a video and we no longer have any goats. Sometimes I love them and sometimes they are a headache. Sometimes. They're fun for a while and then uh, you get one that's a nuisance and it takes all the fun out of raising all the goats. Um, I can think of many times like we've had in the past, we've had some that would jump the fence. You guys remember Jerk Face Jr. He jumped the fence. I tried to chase him. I caught him. He jumped up and uh, he knocked both my two front teeth out with his horns. The jumping goats, that's another thing. Then you got some that just continually stick their head in the fence and get stuck. There's always something going on. This one here, she keeps sticking her tongue out at me. What's up with that, girl? She's like, nah, 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 nah. I'm just kidding. Usually, raising these goats, you can come out here and usually it's peaceful, relaxing, just sitting here watching them do their thing, watching them kind of browse around and graze on the grass and the weeds and such. But then one of them thinks they're going to be ornery and sneak up like they are now on the dog's food. Come here, Cora. Come here. I ain't going to let him get your food. Good girl. You going to be on video? Mojo was on the video the first part. How about you and Lisa keep you on video now? Lisa said, I'm all for it, Dad. He said, I like being on video. So the dogs have actually been busy here lately. Um, like I said, it's getting colder now. Oh, I got a scratch mister. See, there is Cora fighting the boy off. So it's starting to get colder now, and that's when the coyotes and the predators start coming around. Get out of here. And it really puts these dogs to work because when the predators start coming around, these dogs smell them. They start barking, they start being very observant. Like all night long, they'll bark and do their thing, do their patrols. Come here, Cora. Come here, girl. Come here, Cora. What you doing? You're not in trouble. Come here. All right, I gotta get out of here so these dogs can eat. Because if I'm out here, Cora won't. She won't get on to the goats. She'll just let them eat her food. So, anyways, guys, Mojo's good. The farm's going good. Uh, just been trying to do some other content here lately. Throw some other stuff up. Um, but like I said. Cold weather's coming, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully you guys are uh, getting everything wrapped up and getting ready for the cold weather. Hopefully all you other farmers and ranchers got your hay and your feed and all that wrapped up for this fall and winter time. And I uh, hope you guys are doing good where you're at and staying warm and all that good stuff. Core's ready for a nap. You no, know, I got my belly full. I'm gonna roll around in the grass. And this goat's brave, I'm telling you. See, he's just giving her a little love growl. He ain't getting real mean with her. He's just warning her. Anyways, guys, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Leave a comment. Tell us how you've been doing and if you guys are prepared for the cold weather coming. 
and uh, we'll see you next time. Hey, let the man eat. He protects you every night, every day. Leave him alone. <laughs>